I was excited for the first day of practice. Uh, obviously, coming off a disappointing season from a year ago, uh, the only way to start feeling good again is to get back out there. And this is our first opportunity, and it was uh, fun to be back out here. I, a lot of new faces, uh, both on the coaching staff and, and in the, uh, the playing ranks. And is, uh, there were some growing pains, but uh, we'll get through those, and we'll get through them quickly. And, uh, but I was encouraged by the effort and the enthusiasm, and uh, I'm excited to keep getting better. Uh, we've got one more day in shorts, and then we get to put some pads on on Saturday and hopefully uh, really grow quickly as a football team and feel good about ourselves at the conclusion of spring practice. You know, uh, I'm giving it three days. I expect this to be well-oiled by next week. You know, I, I think that, uh, you know, after two practices and then a practice in pads and everybody kind of getting to know each other and all that kind of stuff, uh, I think we should be in a routine. I think we should be uh, look like we've been together a long time by next Monday. That's my hope. Who has a harder job, the players or the coaches in a situation like this? Well, I think uh, they're different jobs. I don't know that you can say one's harder than the other. Certainly the coaches have had to do a lot of work to put together books and you know come together with schemes and plans and all that kind of stuff. And you, you, you forget all the time that they also need to find places to live and get car insurance and all the things that go with uh, moving, uh, driver's licenses and so forth. So, uh, But uh, I very much appreciate their effort in, in getting all that uh, behind them. And I know they're excited to be out here. And, uh, I'm hoping to go in that locker room here in a few minutes and hear a lot of encouraging talk because I thought there were a lot of good, uh, good uh, young players out there doing some good things. I thought he was terrific. You know, uh, certainly it's a tough position to play, and there are going to be mistakes. Uh, but it never looked like it was uh, too much for him. He never looked uh, exasperated. He just kind of rolled it, rolled with it, and. Uh, and he certainly made a number of throws today that show that he belongs at this level. So I, I think that uh, it's exciting uh, that, number one, he's here. Number two, that he's going to get this kind of work, you know, opportunity because of the other kids being down uh, that created a lot of opportunities for him, and hopefully he takes advantage of them. What do you, if he, if, if he develops, would you be comfortable starting a freshman at quarterback? Well, uh, that's that's awful premature. I don't want to put that pressure on him. I don't want to put that pressure on anybody. I just want him to develop as quickly as he can. And as is the case with all our positions, we'll play the best player. How different is it once you put the pads on Saturday? How different will it be? Yeah, how different it It'll be different. It just is. It's part. You know, the game is uh, a lot of teaching and a lot of uh, footwork and a lot of all that. But at the end of the day, it becomes down to a physical game, and uh, you have to be ready to to handle. Uh, that and, and when pads are going on and you, you have to still play with your eyes and your feet and all that stuff, it, it, it uh, separates, uh, so to speak, the men from the boys. What are you looking for from Lundley over you know, the camp? Just learn as much as he can learn and get as comfortable as he can get, you know, and we'll make the decisions uh, in fall camp as to who, where, where everybody falls in terms of the first string, second string, or third string. You know, it's a... Uh, it's an exciting thing for him. I know he's been looking forward to it. a big smile on his face saying he was enjoying himself. He doesn't realize that if the pads were on, he would have might have gotten killed about three times today. But uh, but uh, it's uh, it's a nice start for him. Coach, how different is this offense for the players? Is it that big of a transition for him? Uh, you know, not, not as uh, challenging a, uh, a change from last year's offense as maybe last year's offense was from the year before. I think uh, when we first introduced, uh, the, you know, and, and went to pistol exclusively, that was a bigger change than what we're doing currently. Uh, so I think that uh, we'll acclimate quickly. What did you think of today? I thought Richard was good. You know, uh, want to work on some things. Uh, you know, now that uh, I've got myself in charge of the quarterbacks, I can see some things fundamentally that we can work on that we can uh, improve on quickly. And, and uh, but I'm, I'm impressed with, uh, you know, given that he tried to. Uh, is, is, is working at baseball, that he has not let his, uh, his attention to the details of the football uh, slide. He's worked hard to know what he's doing and, did, and I think uh, got off to a pretty good start. Coach, I realize it's the first day of spring here. Right. How much but you need a story. <laughs> absolutely. So here we are. And how much pressure do you feel on yourself for this oh, team this year? I, you know, uh, I think 
in this business, you understand that uh, there's always pressure if you look at it that way. I, I look at it as a great challenge, as I have when uh, since the day I got here. Uh, I'm disappointed we haven't gotten further advanced in the three years pre previous, but uh, I do think that there are, we have the makings to take a big step and hopefully a, a real big step. You know, it uh, it all it will hinge on on doing our best to, to get ready to play and play efficiently and, and, and you know, sound football, but also a little bit on, on the health of our team. And that's the case with everybody. So I don't feel anything uh, with respect to worrying about my career status or job status. I mean, that's somebody else's decision. I think that's a waste of time. To define real big step, what would be a real big step? Well, that, now we start quantifying wins again. <laughs> you know, I, you know the, it's a... Uh, I just want to. I would just want to be really efficient at the process of building a football team, of being sound, of everybody, everybody that's out there understanding what their job is, and uh, being proud of what we put on film. And if we do that, then I think great things can happen. I don't think there's a dominant team in this league. And you brought in some new coordinators to do that for you, to, to make yourselves more efficient. How much do you feel that they're going to help that process here? Well, I mean. Uh, they're both brand new, but I think they're both accomplished guys, and I chose them for a reason. Uh, you know, in Mike, I, I know him, and I've worked with him, and I, I, I feel confident that uh, uh, he'll bring the kind of energy that we're looking for. And with uh, Joe, I, you know, I know his resume well enough and have talked to the guys he worked for before that uh, I feel like we'll know what we're doing on defense and we'll play very sound football. And if we uh, play fast and efficient, which I think we have the talent to do, we're going to be a good team. Do you even mention the words career status? Is that way in the back of your head, or is it even back there? Or is that like no, no, no. I thought you asked that question. I thought you asked if I was nervous about my job. The answer is no. Thanks, guys. You bet. Anybody else? I'd be shocked, but I get you. All right. See you guys.